Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video I'm going to be talking about my new gadget that I did. So it is still in construction, so it is on a proto board, but it works. I'm going to show you the tests. So if you've been following electronics and you, if you are in some groups on Facebook or watch YouTube, whatever, so you probably have heard about the Flipper Zero. So Flipper Zero is a device uh, that is able to listen to and, and emulate different kinds of signals. But one feature that I like the most of the Flipper Zero is the ability of listening to and analyzing and replaying uh, sub gigahertz frequencies and signals with those frequencies. Uh, so these are the signal being used by a lot of IoT devices for communication with each other. Uh, car remotes, uh, garage remotes, I don't know, doorbells and a lot of different uh, devices. And I wanted to make a device that is able to do uh, the same thing. Uh, so this device that I did here uh, uses 433 MHz module because I live in Europe and most of the devices that are available here uh, work at that frequency. Also, uh, it has a transmitter and the brain of this thing is the ESP32 development board. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how it works. I will do some tests and you will see uh, how it works. And in one of our next videos, I'm planning to put everything together in, on a PCB board and pack it inside of these boxes. In those videos, I'm going to show you the schematics. Also, if there are a lot of people interested about, about the applications, so comment down below if you're interested. I, I can publish it on, on, on Play Store and you will be able to download it and, and upload the, the code that I'm going to share and, and everything will work uh, as uh, I'm going to show you in this video. So, so let's jump to the table and, and see how it works. So let's see the project and, and see how it works. The whole communication between the microcontroller and the phone is done using Bluetooth. So they communicate with each other. And when a signal is detected by the microcontroller, the current signal is stored inside of a local variable array. And after that, when we press on the refresh button on the, on the app, you, you will see it later the microcontroller sends the currently stored data and we are able to analyze them, uh, send a replay uh, command uh, to the microcontroller and save them uh, in the memory on the phone. So let's test and see uh, how it works. I'm going to test it on this remote. It is part of this keyless entry system and uh, we're going to see uh, whether it works. Let's power the microcontroller on. Uh, so uh, they are connected now. If I press on the refresh data, now currently RF data, and I'm gonna press on the lock button, on the unlock button, and if I press on the refresh data, these are the, the signals and the codes that are that, that that are stored in the in the microcontrollers uh, memory let's see whether the replay works this is my frequency tester and here it is it works let's test on my car okay so let's test on my car and uh, thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel if you want to see the progress of this uh, project. So, how I said before, I'm planning to improve it and and put it inside of a package, and make it, you know, portable. So, uh, subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you wanna see the app on Play Store, so I can publish it and and you will be able to download it. So, thank you, and and wait for the test after after the goodbye. So, bye bye.